ITT Technical Institute often shortened to ITT Tech was a for-profit technical institute. Founded in 1969 and with approximately 130 campuses in 38 states of the United States, ITT Tech was one of the largest for-profit educators in the U.S. Starting in about 2004, ITT Tech came under fire for questionable practices, including allegations of high-pressure recruiting tactics, falsified paperwork, high rates of default on student loans for ITT Tech students, and inadequate educational standards. Following a series of state and federal investigations, the U.S. Department of Education prevented students from using federally guaranteed student loans at any ITT Tech location effective August 2016. All ITT Tech campuses were closed by September 6, 2016, and on September 16, 2016, ITT Tech filed for bankruptcy. In 2018, ITT Tech's trustee sued the U.S. Department of Education and lenders to repay $1.5 billion in claims against ITT, alleging that regulators took advantage of low income students and neglected their oversight duties. Students who attended ITT Tech may be able to have their debt forgiven by applying to the U.S. Department of Education for a borrower defense to repayment. However, U.S. Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos announced on July 25, 2018, that the borrower defense rule would be rewritten and replaced with a stricter repayment policy starting July 1, 2019. On December 13, 2018, a U.S. federal court ruled that the department's decision to do this was arbitrary and capricious. The court sided with plaintiffs in invalidating the state put in place by the Department of Education. There will be an additional hearing on December 14, 2018 to address remedies. Topic. Background ITT Tech is owned and was operated by ITT Educational Services, Inc. Gray Market, ESINQ, a publicly traded company headquartered in Carmel, Indiana. The company also owned and operated Breckenridge School of Nursing and Health Sciences Schools, ITT Technical Institute charged among the highest tuition fees in the industry. It also had the industry's highest rate of loans that go into default within two years of attendance. In 2014, the annual tuition for attending an ITT Tech campus ranged from $45,000 to $85,000. A group of more than 3,500 students and former students called the ITT Tech Warriors have protested that they received a subprime education and called for debt forgiveness. According to one source, early career pay for associate degree graduates of ITT Tech Seattle campus in 2015 was $42,400, while mid-career pay was $66,500. As of September 2016, College Scorecard reported that graduates of ITT Tech schools nationally earned an average income of $38,400, measured at 10 years after graduation. Topic history In 1946, ITT Tech was founded as Educational Services, Inc. From 1965 until its IPO in 1994, ITT Tech was a wholly owned subsidiary of the ITT Corporation as ITT, ESI. During its years in operation, the school was headquartered in Carmel, Indiana. By 1986, all its institutions had become known by the common name ITT Technical Institute. By 1999, ITT ITT Corporation which had merged with Starwood Hotels and Resorts Worldwide the year before had divested itself completely of ITT Tech's shares. The schools were allowed to continue using the ITT name under license. In the mid-2000s, CEO René Champagne cashed out more than $50 million in stock. In April 2007 CEO René Champagne had stepped down from his CEO position. Mr. Kevin Madani was the newly appointed CEO with continuing all his current positions of president and as a director, he had from early June 2002, it acquired the financially struggling Daniel Webster College DWC in Nashua, New Hampshire in June 2009 for $29.3 million. The nonprofit college was converted into a for profit institution. In 2013, ESI began operating public charter schools in three cities Indianapolis, Tempe, and Troy, Michigan. 
In charter documents, the company referred to potential students as educational have nots. In 2016, Chinese investors Zifeng Zhang and Yu Zhang became ESI insiders, purchasing more than 3 million shares of ITT Educational Services stock. In July 2016, ESI reported that enrollment was projected to drop 30% to 40% from 2015 to 2016. In August 2016, the company was barred from enrolling new students who use government loans. Loans. On the 30th of the same month, ITT Technical Institute stopped accepting applications for new enrollment. At that time, ITT Tech said that existing students could still finish their studies, and ITT Tech would continue to operate until the last of its enrolled students either graduate or drop out. However, on September 6, 2016, ITT Technical Institute announced that it was shutting down all its campuses effective immediately. At the time of its system wide closure on September 6, 2016, the school had more than 130 ITT Technical Institute campuses across the United States, with more than 40,000 students and 8,000 employees. ITT Educational Services filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy liquidation on September 16, 2016. As for DWC, Southern New Hampshire University SNHU, a nonprofit college in Manchester, New Hampshire, hired most of the college's faculty and staff allowing the 2016-17 academic year to proceed as usual. DWC's aviation and engineering programs were effectively absorbed into SNHU, which had offered to buy the Nashua campus. However, its bid was rejected and SNHU instead opted to build a new science and engineering building on its own campus. <laughs> <laughs> student loan debt In 2014, Time magazine ranked ITT Technical Institute number 2 on its list of the five colleges that leave the most students crippled by debt. Among ITT Tech graduates with loans due in 2011, 22% had defaulted by 2014. This compares with a default rate of about 13.7% for student loans generally. According to the Time Magazine report, ITT Tech's default rate ranked second. The for profit University of Phoenix had a lower default rate by percentage 19% at Phoenix versus ITT Tech's 22%, but the total number of students in default from Phoenix was much higher 45,123 Phoenix students versus 11,260 ITT Tech students. According to the College Scorecard, as of March 2016, 39% of ITT ITT Tech graduates are paying off their debt, compared to the national average of 66% among all schools nationwide. This percentage represents the number of graduates who were able to repay at least $1 in student loan debt in the three years after their graduation. In 2018, a settlement to a class action lawsuit was tentatively reached to wipe out student loans for attendees from 2006 to 2016. Topic. Academics ITT Tech students were characterized by the school as older and balancing family obligations with underemployment. The company's website stated, The programs employ traditional, applied and adult learning pedagogies and are delivered through traditional, accelerated and distance methodologies in a learner-centered environment of mutual respect. ITT Tech offered associate, bachelor's, and master's business-only, online degrees. The state of Pennsylvania was the only state which forbade ITT Tech to offer master's degrees. As of December 31, 2015, the ITT Technical Institutes were offering 49 education programs in various fields of study. At the vast majority of campuses, the academic schedule was organized on the basis of four 12 week academic quarters in a calendar year, with new students beginning at the start of each academic quarter. Using that calendar, students taking a full course load could complete associate degree programs in seven or eight academic quarters, bachelor's degree programs in 14 or 15 academic quarters or a master's degree program in seven academic quarters, depending on student enrollment. Class sessions at ITT Technical Institute campuses were generally available during the day and evening. 
The courses for education programs that were taught online were delivered through an asynchronous learning network and had a prescribed schedule for completion of the coursework. At the vast majority of ITT Technical Institute campuses, the class schedule for education program residence courses and the coursework completion schedule for online courses generally provided students with the flexibility to maintain employment concurrently with their studies. Student surveys indicated that a majority of ITT Technical Institute students worked at least part-time during their programs of study. A significant portion of classes involved practical study in a lab environment. Topic. Accreditation ITT Tech was nationally accredited by the Accrediting Council for Independent Colleges and Schools ACICS. According to ITT Educational Services Annual Report for Fiscal Year 2015, 31 campuses and more than 400 programs were not meeting ACICS standards for student retention. Per the ITT Tech website, it is unlikely that any credits earned at an ITT Technical Institute will be transferable to or accepted by any institution other than an ITT Technical Institute. In April 2016, ACICS issued the company a show cause order to request information establishing why the accreditor should continue to accredit the institution, since its programs did not comply with certain standards. Topic. Rankings In 2015, financial news site TheStreet.com ranked ITT Technical Institute Seattle on a list of 10 best U.S. two-year colleges that actually pay off. According to TheStreet.com, ITT's Seattle campus ranked fourth in terms of alumni reporting rewarding careers, only after its sister ITT Technical Institute schools in San Antonio, West Houston and San Diego. Topic. Legal issues In August 1998, 15 former students alleged misrepresentation, fraud and concealment by ITT arising out of their recruitment and education at ITT campuses. In September 1998, ITT settled all of the claims. On February 25, 2004, federal agents raided the company's headquarters and 10 of its campuses in Indiana, Texas, Virginia, Florida, Louisiana, Nevada, California, and Oregon. The investigation negatively affected the company's stock and triggered several class action lawsuits by investors. In 2004, the Office of the Attorney General for the State of California CAG investigated ITT Technical Institutes in California. The CAG's investigation was in response key TAM actions filed against the company under the state and or federal false claims acts alleging that ITT Tech falsified records relating to student attendance, grades and academic progress, falsified student grade point average calculations used to qualify students for financial aid under the state's Cal Grant program and retaliated against employees who may have complained about those alleged acts. In 2004, Omer Waddles, ESI's C CEO, and a former counsel for Edward Kennedy, resigned. In October 2005, ITT agreed to pay $730,000 to settle a lawsuit with California in which employees alleged that it inflated students' grade point averages so they qualified for more financial aid from the state of California. A February 2011 investigative report by WTMJ TV in Milwaukee found evidence of widespread grade inflation at the school's Milwaukee area location in Greenfield. In one instance, a student got 100% on a computer forensics assignment by emailing the professor a noodle recipe. The station believed this to be a way to increase federal student aid funding. In 2013, a complaint was filed against ESI and two ESI executive officers in U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York regarding securities. The Massachusetts Laborers Annuity Fund filed a similar complaint and the cases were consolidated. The Plumbers and Pipefitters National Pension Fund and Metropolitan Water Reclamation District Retirement Fund were the lead plaintiffs. Students continue to allege that private loans with J.P. Morgan Chase and other banks are predatory. 
In 2013 USA Today listed more than 50 ITT campuses as red flag schools because their student loan default rates were higher than their graduation rates. On February 26, 2014, the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau CFPB sued ITT, alleging that they used high-pressure tactics to coerce students into high-interest private loans that were likely to end in default. ESI is also being investigated by at least a dozen state attorneys general for allegations of fraud and deceptive marketing. On October 19, 2015, the U.S. Department of Education announced that because of the company's failure to meet its fiduciary obligations, it was being placed under heightened cash monitoring. According to a July 2014 Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Help Committee report, 57% of ITT programs would fail the Department of Education's proposed gainful employment rule. In a 2015 federal whistleblower lawsuit, a former ITT tech dean of academic affairs alleged that the company one, directed recruiters to use coercive tactics to pressure students into enrolling, two, admitted students who were unable to succeed at the school, three, unlawful paid sales commissions to recruiters, and four, lied to students about their financial obligations and transferability of ITT credits to other schools, and about the jobs students could expect to get after graduating. In 2015, the California Department of Veterans Affairs Calvet, temporarily ordered ITT Tech to stop enrolling new or returning students who fund their educations with GI Bill benefits. In 2015, the Securities and Exchange Commission announced fraud charges against ITT Educational Services Inc., its Chief Executive Officer Kevin Madani, and its Chief Financial Officer Daniel Fitzpatrick. In 2016, Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healy sued ITT. Educational services for allegedly misleading and harassing students. Breckenridge nurses also sued ITT Education for fraud. The following states issued subpoenas or civil investigative demands against ITT Tech between the beginning of 2004 and the end of May 2014, under the authority of their consumer protection statutes Arkansas, Arizona, Colorado, Connecticut, District of Columbia, Hawaii, Idaho, Iowa, Kentucky, Maryland, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, North Carolina, Oregon. Pennsylvania, Tennessee and Washington. On August 25, 2016, the U.S. Department of Education banned ITT Tech from enrolling students who receive federal aid and at the same time doubled the surety funds that ITT Tech was required to have, and to produce those funds within 30 days. Stock markets reacted with a punishing 35% drop, which triggered a halt in trading, raising concerns about whether ITT Educational would be able to survive this latest decision. On September 6, 2016, ITT Tech ceased operations and closed all of its locations, issuing a statement that attributed the closing to the Department of Education's actions.